Number 18. The scatter plot below shows how many books were sold at a bookstore during the first 15 days of a summer vacation. If a relationship exists, make a conjecture about the number of books that will be sold on the 20th day of the summer vacation. Okay, so this is asking us to find out how many books will be sold on the 20th day. So what I'm going to have to do is, since my uh, scatter plot here doesn't have a trend line, um, I see that this is at a downward trend. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a few points off uh, a few points off of this graph, and I'm going to pick about four points. And what this will do, this will help us. Uh, find our trend line. So I see a pretty point here at about 1 and 30. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I see another pretty point at 4 and about 28. I see another pretty point at 6 and about 26. And I see another pretty point at 10 and 22. So those are going to be the points I'm going to go ahead and use. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and open up our calculators. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up a list in spreadsheets. And once we do this, the first thing we do is we label cell A as X and B as Y. Now that we have done that, we can go ahead and start entering in our X values. We have 1, 4, 6, and 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter in my Y values. We have 30, 28, 26, and 22. Now that I've entered those in, I'm going to go ahead and press the on button and I'm going to go to data and statistics. Now that I'm here, I want to label my axes. So this is my X axis and this is my Y axis. And I want to find our trend line. And the way we do that is we're going to use the command menu four, six, one. If I were you, I would write that on your paper. That way you have it for your test. So we come up with this um, with this equation. So we have Y equals negative 0.9x, and then it was plus 31.2. I'm going to round to the tenths place. Okay, and again, I want to find out how many books will be sold on the 20th day. Well, if you look here, days is our x value. So what I want to do with that 20 is I want to substitute uh, 20 for x. So this is negative 0 0.9 times 20 plus 31.2. So again, I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to press the on button and I'm going to go to the calculator. Ah. Now I'm going to put negative 0.9. I'm going to open up a parentheses 20. I'm going to close that parentheses and I'm going to add 31.2 to that. And here we get 13.2. Well, if you look at our answer choices, we don't have an answer choice that has a 13.2. So what that means is, um, remember, whenever we chose our points, we were just guesstimating. That doesn't mean that um, those are actually the points. Um, so here we want to choose the answer choice that is closest to the answer we found here. And here we got, uh, I would believe the, the closest answer to 13.2 is going to be A, 14 books.